we completed MariaDB upgrade in the last video. It is time to install a firewall. That means we need to go to the control panel. That is SSH control panel. But as you are on the C panel, means you don't need a putty and you don't need to log in into the putty. Just go here and scroll down and click on terminal. After that, I understand and wanted to process. Means it is just asking for the permission. Do you want a web based interface for the accessing a terminal? Yes, I want it. And here, in this video, we are going to cover how to install CSF firewall and its configuration. Means config server security and firewall. It is the actual name of the CSF. We are going to cover in this video how to install firewall for securing your cPanel based server that is WHM. And for this, you can able to visit their official website and we found the commands and this is the command. I will paste here. CSF has been installed. Let me explain. Here we went into the user SRC folder first. Then if any file with the name is present, we removed it and then we downloaded a fresh the latest version of CSP installer. After downloading, you can able to see that download has been completed up till here and it has a size of 2.18 MB. And after that, we unzip that after we went into that particular directory and we can able to see that our installation has been completed in a fraction of seconds. Just scroll to the bottom, bottom, bottom and here you can able to see installation of completed. Now, in this video, what we are trying to do is installation of firewall. The installation of firewalls has been completed. Now it is time for configuration of firewall. Okay. One thing we forgot that is a restart of the server because up till now we completed almost 20 plus things extreme high level of configuration php inert weeks uh, then multi php functions uh, apache upgrade there are mariadb upgrade there are a lot of things we did it now it is time for restart the system before that let me show you how we install firewall yes here firewall installation has been completed let me first restart the server because it is important to restart the server, click on restart, just restart. And here, just scroll down the bottom and you will find a lot of options. Okay. So if we wanted to restart the things, so there are a lot of things to be restart, but we want to restart servers, not the services. Okay. Wait, this video is all about firewall. I understand, but let me share you some more information. Restart. So if you wanted to restart DNS servers and a lot of things will be there. If sometimes your server may has uh, like a main server not running. So in this case, you don't need to go to the terminal and check. Just go here and click on Exim server and click on restart. Yes. Your Exim server has been restarted. Means this is extremely easiest way to start the server. So it is entirely user interface based. So, but how do you know which service is down for that? Enter here status and click on service status. Here you can able to see that all the services are running. And here one thing you can note that Exim is in the pending because we restarted. It will automatically up for sure. Just wait for some time. It will automatically up. Okay. So, so this is how we can able to check the status of services. Now we will restart the server because our motto of this video is to install a firewall and do configuration. About server, if you wanted to know more, this server is of, for demonstration, we are using three core VPS with, uh, this is RAM and swap memory and about uh, this storage and here to check the disk, you can able to disk uh, usage or disk usage here, you can able to see. Okay, so here you can able to see that this size is 20 GB in that 8 GB is already used and 11 GB is remaining. So 45 GB percentage is used, 55 percent is remaining. Always make sure that don't utilize your server's disk above 75 percent then. Because if you are using more than that, you will face the problem. And one more thing, server basically gives you performance only based on few facts. First, CPU usage. Second. RAM usage, third, hard disk IO usage, fourth, 
bad bandwidth consumption fifth psp execution okay so these are five pillars if something went wrong in this five things your server definitely runs slow that means it is not the problem of dedicated server provider or a technical person or thing it is all about user is consuming a use or you are over using a server better to upgrade it sir but in that case as well as we have a solution use catchy applications like nginx lightspeed so we always recommend lightspeed because it's extremely powerful so from 10 or suppose in this case we have three core cpu three core vps for demonstration we are creating right so in this case if i will install a lightspeed it will act like a six core 10 core sometimes this is a power of lightspeed sir okay so that we also going to help you in this video series only how to install lightspeed okay done now we wanted to reboot the system just enter a reboot a reboot are of two types forceful server reboot and graceful reboot forceful means actual reboot and graceful means a virtual reboot okay but in our case we wanted to do a forceful reboot if we do a forceful reboot it will take some time to entirely shut down server and restart it but graceful mode it will only virtually try to restart the server so that means only kernel level or operating system level few files run remaining automatically close and it will restart the server okay so in this case we did extreme level of configuration so we need a forceful reboot and after that we will move forward for firewall configuration our server has been rebooted successfully let's move to the second part configuration of firewall that is csf firewall again and again we would like to share you one thing please do not do the things which don't you don't know try to learn first and then only perform currently the firewall is in testing mode means it is off so it is not running we wanted to activate the firewall just make sure that in the firewall we just need to go down and down and here this file is extremely important and it has almost 100 plus settings okay we can't explain because it took almost 1 hour to explain and clarify but to simplify it we just need to do is here two things first one testing mode off means firewall on testing mode off means firewall on i repeat it two times because testing mode means off means production mode on it means if we off this server will activate a firewall second thing we will scroll down and scroll down here it will ask for the restrict syslog or restrict there are a lot of things will be there so restrict syslog and yes here are the four options are there so in this case recommended one is a fourth one so let me choose fourth one so done first setting we completed here okay from initial initial setting now i will go to the php4 in the php4 i need to enter all the ip address which needs to be enabled in case if you are changing your ssh port that time you need to do this so let's say here is a 25 port i will enter here 26 and 22 port how to change the 22 port that video guide we already created on our youtube channel dedicated code so go and watch because you must need to change the port number 22 Once you change the port number, let's say you are setting a port number like three three five five four four, so you can do it from here. From here, you can able to do it like enter here two two three one six. So this is you wanted to set a port number, so you can able to set. So when you use this port, that time you can able to log into as such. So this is how you can able to put the securities. So in this case, I will keeping this default one. But if you wanted to change the port number, sorry, as such port number because. mostly the server hacks because they knows you are using ssh port number 22 and they use the brute force attack and even if we covered in this video yeah it would series how to do a brute force attack protection but still chinese and other companies uh, chinese or other countries like um, we cannot able to reveal the other names but they knows how to attack on the server from the ssh because if your password is weak definitely your server will hack to avoid this we recommend you to change the port number 22 to change 
we created a video on our youtube channel so okay done after that uh, we enable our required port numbers and simply go and click on changes there are a lot of things will be there we cannot able to explain each and everything okay it took almost one hour sorry for that but let me go login track login track here you can able to see that you wanted to put some settings you want to do some changes you can able to connection tracking process tracking uh cloud flair if wanted rules configuration reporting set tracking port float 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 means nothing but no uh, how much traffic on the port or how much traffic comes go sync you can able to configure from here so that is all about the firewall settings so click on save changes let me explain few more things about firewall which are important one adding ip blocking ip removing ip whitelisting ip okay that we will share you in this video click on restart the firewall because after changing each and every day restart the firewall done i will click here so basically we completed the standard setting of firewall here you can able to clearly say the firewall status active and running means enable and running uh, i will click on csf here you can able to see that quick allow allow means allowing a port or uh, ip address quick deny means denying ip address okay so that means you can able to block and unblock ip address from here okay so that can be possible similarly if you wanted to block certain processes yes that also can be possible with this uh, thing i will go to the info ldd yeah look at this you wanted to ip blocking you can do this ignore if you wanted to ignore certain ip addresses so in this case if you are using a server and you have another server do you want to do a uh, like whitelist or just say if anything happens between these two servers i don't want any blockage so that time you can able to add here ignore it ignore means ip blocking process tracking directory so there are a lot of things will be the based on your requirement sometimes you are running certain processes but firewall is so intelligent it will block that process if it causing some security issues so in this case if you are running some process so in this case you were doing you are running node.js application and you need to run certain processes and firewall may blocking that so you can able to whitelist from here okay so that we can able to do this and adding or blocking or whitelisting ip address can be done from here okay so they add here but if you want to add in a bulk so that time we here it is option click here let me show you one example to block the ip address okay let me go back and okay so i will enter here ip address and here i will enter the region and click on enter that's it this is the simplest one okay but if you wanted to enable it for the permanent so that time i can able to go to this ip ignore and click on edit okay so here i need to enter the ip address so in this case i will enter like my ip address 1030 and for the just demonstration i'm entering this and hash miss comment this is my home ip address so when you try to log into server and if you may face like password issues so that time when you try five times so it will automatically block your ip address so basically to not block this we are whitelisting click on save changes and restart the firewall this is how the firewall configuration work so we completed firewall installation firewall configuration we also helps you to explain disk how to check disk how to check status service status how to check uh, the server configuration how to know uh, which process is running or not how to restart the processes how to reboot the server reboot are of two types there are a lot of things we had covered in this particular video so let's begin with another topics about installation so for now i'm closing this video